Hello again and welcome. It's me and me. You know by now it's Joy. It's Joy Ruffin coming to you from the Sunshine State. Back with you again. And in that we're in the holiday season and getting very, very close to the holiday Christmas, it seems to for me to all be about giving. And I had to share this with you. I'm sure that the majority of you read this article or heard this news at some point from many different medias. But when I read this, it warmed my heart because most of you might not know it, but I love basketball, have always loved basketball. Couldn't care less about football, but basketball I love. We all have that little love for something or another, right? But for me, loving basketball the way that I do, most of the major basketball players, I know. So when I read this article about the one and only Michael Jordan, it just warmed my heart. And I started, I could feel the smile spreading from one side of my face to the other. And the article, making it short and to the point, was that Michael Jordan won I guess one of his many or several lawsuits, a sizable amount. The amount was undisclosed, but the amount, whatever it was, he is giving away to charity. All of it goes to charity. And he has selected or picked out 23 major charities. I absolutely was floored by that because I think that is so indicative of someone who is the caliber of a Michael Jordan. So for me, I have labeled him the man of the season. The man of the season, and again and again, the man of the season gives. He's giving to several institutes in Chicago because he has such a love for Chicago. It brought him so much fame, luck, and fortune that he, in turn, is turning around and giving back. Not that he didn't before, but now with this money that he has, how many suits, how many pair of shoes, how many cars, how many homes, how many on and on and on can you have? So he has decided to give back. So the point being, my friend, is that we, you and I, and zillions of others, we can give back too. Give back whatever it is that you're able to from your core, from your heart, something that's meaningful to you and will be impactful to someone else. But when I read that article, and I hope you'll look it up and, and read and find out about it too, if you haven't, it really brought to mind how wonderful it is for someone like him. And then you could understand the success and the fame that he has and why. Because there's no doubt that whatever the X factor is, he has it. And it's a good story. So if you're not that familiar with it, I'm just giving you little tidbits of it. Read about the article. Read more about why he's doing it and the amount he got and the places and businesses and charitable organizations that he's contributing this money to. It's a good story. And you, my friend, be well. Look after yourself first, and then you can look after others. So until we meet again, sending your way always all the best. Until we talk, bye-bye for now. Cheers.